Hello and welcome back. So today is the second of the three silver-proof £2 coins which I bought. Um, you saw the first one last week, which is the DNA Double Helix, and I've got one more, which may be in next week's upload schedule. It may not be. It depends what I've got to upload then. Although, actually, it's the pennies next week, so... Who knows? Who knows? I, even I don't know what's going to be uploaded, so you're not going to have a clue. <laughs> anyway, I'm prattling on. I managed to get three silver-proof £2 coins for very, very, very reasonable prices as well, so I was pretty chuffed to get my hands on them, and I'm trying to get some more of the backdated silver-proofs to build up my collection of the ones that I'm missing. Unfortunately, this one has a bit of a dink in the case, but to be fair, the case isn't what matters to me, it's, it's what's inside the coin. So, let's have a look. It is, of course, egg chasing, which I alluded to in last week's video. If I can get him out, there we go. Absolute beauty, isn't he? To be fair, I've noticed it a bazillion times. I say every time I get silver proof two pound coin, I think the two pound coins look absolutely stunning in silver proof. The way that the silver inner part um, really makes the gold outer part pop is just absolutely stunning. Now, I know on the PA4, peed foot, pied foot, PA4, I think it's pronounced. Um, that one does have a hologram on it, so this one is just the standard silver proof. As you can see, it is not double thickness. I was tempted by the holograph holographic one, but I thought, you know what, if I buy one silver proof P PA4, I want them all PA4. A little bit of a mark on the, on the back of it, on the obverse. I can't tell if that's on the coin or in the case. It looks like it's on the case, though. When I'm moving it around, I can't see it on the coin, so... There's a relief. I haven't actually looked at it in too much detail other than a cursory glance to make sure it is the coin I think it's I thought it was going to be. But it's a very, very nice coin. And it comes with a little bit of bump. The certificate of authenticity. So it's the uh, silver proof two pound coin rugby world cup nineteen ninety nine. What does it say then? Uh, in nineteen ninety nine the world's best rugby playing nations will battle oh so this is prior to it prior to it actually happening then for the Webb Ellis Cup in what will be the fourth Rugby World Cup tournament. The finals will be hosted by the Welsh Rugby Union and held at venues throughout the five nations of England, France, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. The match is promising six weeks of fierce competition in October and November 1999. In celebration, the Royal Mint is proud to issue a commemorative £2 coin for collectors. Its, its special reverse design has been created by medalist Ron Dutton who in his representation of a packed rugby stadium viewed from above wanted to capture the pulsating atmosphere, movement, sound and colour of the great game and its enthusiastic spectators. Mm. The obverse features Ian Rank Broadley's regal portrait of the Queen. Both inner disc and outer circle have been minted in sterling 0.925 silver, but to emulate the bicolour nature, it's of its circulating counterpart, the outer ring has been plated with fine gold. Very cool. Legal tender coin has been struck to the highest proof quality using specially selected blanks and highly polished dies. For this reason, it's advisable to avoid handling the coin as fingerprints or marks will impair its decolate? Delicate? <laughs> I missed a letter there. Uh, proof finish. R.D. Holmes, Deputy Master, Chief Executive. There we go. Then we've got some more specifications on the back. So we know about the, 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 the precious metal. Edge inscription is War Rugby World Cup 1999. Now, there is, um, you can find some that have got weak strikes or that go with the grain of the, uh, the and it's not beveled edges, is it? Oh, is it, is it beveled edges? I don't know. I can't think of the word off the top of my head. Um, it makes it look like it says 999, but again, very common, those sort of mishaps on the outer uh, edge inscription so I wouldn't I wouldn't class that any more valuable than a standard circulating one uh, much like the Guy Fawkes per member there's no such thing as per member well there is such thing as per member but it's not it doesn't add any sort of intrinsic value uh, issue limit 25,000 oh, that's fairly cool and we've got the old I never know I've never really twigged it it's the old crest of the Royal Mint obviously the new design for the crest of the Royal Mint looks more like the um the inner workings of the what's it called the striking machine the little plate that grabs the coins as they spin through and holds them firm for striking so that's kind of neat as well having the old crest of the royal mint very cool so to be fair a coin that's from 1999 knocking on a fair few years isn't it now which is it sounds heretical to say because 1999 in my mind wasn't that long ago but there we go so this is the 
It's an, it's an aerial view of a busy stadium, I see. So would these be the stands then? I wonder what all these dots are then. Surely there's not people running onto the field, is it? <laughs> and there's, I, don't know, I don't know rugby too well, but I'm fairly sure if what, every one of those dots was a player, that would be a fair few too many players. But it's lovely. To be fair, it's nice find, uh, It's nice getting these silver-proof designs for the coins that we see that are classed as a common find in a £2 coin hunt. Um, they just look so cool. And to see them in this sort of silver-proof finish is absolutely wonderful. Now we have the IRB portrait of the Queen. And perfectly positioned dots around the outer part because obviously when you're circulating two pounds it's very common to have misaligned dots missing dots dots partially da down into the inner part rather than on the actual rim of it so that's kind of cool too but no a lovely coin and i've got one more silver truth silver proof two pound coin which will be out in a future video again i'm not 100 sure when <laughs> these sort of tuesday and thursday videos are a bit a bit a little bit uh, last minute uh, planning as to what I want to do with them because uh, we generally use it to review products from the mint or my new purchases or products from other companies so there we go well as ever all that leads me to do now well let me let me know down in the comments what did you think of it I think it's kind of cool um I hope you're looking forward to seeing the third and final installation of my mad uh purchasing spree of these two pound coins uh, to be fair with some of the silver proofs the older silver proofs you can get a real bargain if you hunt for long enough so get looking i'm sure you'll find yourself a real deal I just notice oh there's the initials just in the right hand side there rd i've never noticed that before so that was the the initials of the designer of that uh, of the re reverse of the coin wasn't it well i'll have to, I'll have to look at my next two pound coin hunt to see if it's actually on the circulating rugby one because i've never noticed that before it's quite small delicate detail that i guess could be rubbed off in circulation but anyway, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!